And the RAF last night retained the Inter Services 2020 cricket title in a thrilling final match at Lords. They were playing the Royal Navy after both sides had beaten the Army in the first two games. John Knighton reports from the home of cricket. It was a final to grace a terrific day of cricket. The Navy's narrowest of wins over the Army had been followed by a mauling for the Army by the RAF. But on an excellent batting pitch, the Navy set about building a hefty total. Their opening pair of skipper Matt Thompson and Lee Evans making his Navy debut were in sparkling form. Thompson racing to 50, which included four fours and a six, before he was caught by Rob McGee, bowled Ian Sinclair for 52. Sean Needham was run out by Paul Taylor and then a superb catch from Ash Watson off the impressive Graham Sesford sent Mike Green back to the pavilion. Ehrman was next to follow, caught Edmed, bowled Watson, putting the Navy on 121 for four. Evans, though, held the line and carried his bat in what could have been a match-winning 52, supported by Alvin Pollard as the Navy finished on 147 for four. For the day's beneficiaries, combat stress, it was also highly successful. If I look around the audience here, um, there are grandpas right the way down to school children. Uh, and actually we are dealing with people from the age of 18 right the way up into their 80s. And you never know when this horrible issue is going to arise as a result of combat that might be 30, 40 years previously or just two or three years before. Needing under eight and over, the RAF always fancied their chances, and despite losing Tim Adcock on 11, Adam Fisher and skipper Matt Compton then set about the challenge, racing to a 50 partnership off just 43 balls. Fisher on 23 and looking well set, was then needlessly run out with the score on 57 in the ninth over. But Graham Sesford then came to the crease and proceeded to effectively win the match for the RAF. He and Compton, with a quick-fire 31, thrust the RAF on before he was clean bowled by Green with the score on 92. But Sesford guided them through on to 139 before he was bowled by David Storey on 56, an innings which included five sixes. Jake Ray and Ash Watson took care of the rest to give the RAF a six-wicket victory and with it the Inter-Services T20 title. It's a team game, so it's nice to get it across the line. It's getting quite close towards the end there, but a few little hits off the legs and into the crowd and it just seemed to, uh, seemed to close, get the run rate down. So. The Navy put up a really good score against us on a wicket which was doing... Well, there wasn't you know, much pace or anything, so um, yeah, to chase it down with a couple of overs to spare um, was really, yeah, re really pretty awesome. The RAF now have in their sights retaining the Inter-Services 50 overs a side championship, but this accomplished team are now very much the team to beat in 2020. John Knighton, Forces News, Lords.